Hey guys, it's Camille Einstein, and today we're going to be reading some lyrics. Specifically, Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Now, if you don't know what song this is, obviously you're not attached to media because this song has been blowing up everywhere. And honestly, I have to say that I hate this song. It totally sucks. But, in spite of that, I'm going to read to you the lyrics of the song that right now is hitting the top charts. And it goes like this. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want none unless you got Bun Sun. Now originally this was from a Sir Mix-a-Lot song. Which made more sense in that song. In this one it makes no sense. It just sounds like her anaconda wants to eat hamburgers. And he doesn't want anything unless you bring buns for the hamburgers. That's what I'm getting out of this. Now it says the boy named Troy used to live in Detroit. Don't know why I care if he lived in Detroit. I would much more care where he lives now, seeing that he doesn't live there anymore. Was big dope dealer. He was getting some coins. So now we know she's involved with drug dealers. And he was obviously doing well in the business. Was in shootouts with the law, but he lived in a palace. So basically he's a cop killer. And he lives in Arabia because there is no palaces in America as far as I'm concerned. Bought me Alexander McQueen. He was keeping me stylish. That ain't helping you. That That isn't going to help you. Sorry, Nicki Minaj. Now that's real, real, real. I have to stress that there's three reels. Just to, just to define the fact that it's that real. Okay? Three reels. Okay? Alright. Don't forget that. Gun in my purse. Bitch, I came dressed to kill. Who want to go first? I had them pushing daffodils. So... This is basically working off of the idiom, pushing daisies, suggesting that they're dead. But she changed it to daffodils because obviously daisies doesn't rhyme with kills. So, yeah. Nice try, Nicki Minaj, but no, doesn't, no. I'm high as hell. I only took half a pill. I'm on some dumb shit. At least now we are better understanding why this song is so crazy. Because of the fact that she's obviously on drugs while making it by the way what he says she's hearing voices now because I don't, I don't know who he's talking she's talking about he can tell i ain't missing no meals so is she fat is she suggesting that she's fat because just by looking at her i can be like oh she's definitely not missing her meals that's what i'm getting out of this so come through and fuck them in my automobiles so she's a slut and she's having a lot of sex with guys in her cars I don't think I needed to know that Nicki Minaj, TMI, TMI. Alright, let him eat it with his grills. And he telling me to chill. Felicio, that's all I have to say, look it up if you don't know what that is. And he telling me he's real, that he loved my sex appeal. Say he don't like gumboni, he wants something he can grab. So he wants cushion for the pushing, understandable I guess. So I pull up in a jag, and I hit him with a jab like... Done, da da done, done, da da done, done. All right, so she pulls up in a Jag. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's the Jaguar the car, not the Jaguar the animal, because that 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 would be a sight to see. And now she's assaulting because she's gonna jab him. Goes back to the anaconda saying he want he wants buns, otherwise he can't have hamburgers. And then it goes on to use another line from Sir Mix a Lot song, which says, "Oh my gosh, look at her butt." So now there's perverts involved. Great. Alright, continuing forward, it says, this dude named Michael used to ride motorcycles. Because I obviously needed to know that Michael rode motorcycles. Besides the fact that the only thing that rhymes with Michaels is motorcycles, I guess. I don't know. It sounds to me that he, she just found a random reason to connect those two things. Dick bigger than a tower. I ain't talking about Eiffels. Thank you for, for mentioning that. Uh, for Because obviously, I, I would have not known that it was not the Eiffel. I'm, I'm glad she, she pointed that out. Thank, thank you, Nicki Minaj. Real country ass nigga, let me play with his rifle. Okay, that's racist. That, just because he lives in the country doesn't mean he has a rifle. Although 90% 90, 90 of the chances is, is that it's true, but that's still racist. Racism. Stereotypes. Okay, pussy put his ass to sleep. Now he calling me Nyquil. Obviously, she sucks in bed, so puts people to sleep. Okay. Now that bang, 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 I let hit cuz... I let him hit it cause he slang cocaine. 
Okay, that specific line, I have no idea what it means. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move on there. She was probably too drugged at that part. He tossed my salad like his name Romaine. Play on words. That, that's probably one of the most witty things that he said in this in this whole thing. And when we done, I make him buy me Balmain. Now, if you don't know what Balmain is, I looked it up. It's clothing. They sell skirts for ten thousand dollars. You know how many starving children you could you could feed with ten thousand dollars? Nicki Minaj doesn't care about that. She cares about herself and and covering. No, oh, she probably won't cover that. She didn't cover it through most of the damn video. I'm on some dumb shit. She repeated it. I'm glad she did because now I I'm I'm seeing the recurring thing that she's obviously on drugs. And at this point, it kind of just repeats itself again. Goes on with the anaconda kneading the buns for his his hamburgers. Someone staring at people's butt. And it finally reaches a point where it says, Yeah, he loved this fat ass. Yeah, this one is for my bitches with the fat ass in the fucking club. I said, where are my fat ass big bitches in the club? So obviously she can't locate them. So she's singing the, a song to them so she can try to maybe get a hold of them. Fuck the skinny bitches. Fuck the skinny bitches in the club. I want to see all the big fat ass bitches in the motherfucking club. Fuck you if you skinny bitches. What? I got a big fat ass. Come on. So she goes on to basically bash all the skinny girls just because they're skinny. That is, isn't that like a form of bullying? I see that as harassment. But okay, Nicki Minaj, you are famous. So you can go ahead and tell anybody whatever you feel like. Especially, fuck the skinny bitches in the club. So, that's talent, America. That is that is the people at the top. That That is the talent here. So, um, how does that make you feel about the world? D d does that make you feel better? How Nicki Minaj is talented I don't know guys let me know in the comment area down below what you think about these lyrics I personally heard the song I saw the craziness of the song but not until I actually read the lyrics did I hear what she was saying which is completely absurd and and stupid I I'm, I'm sorry it's stupid guys if you like the song awesome but I think the song is completely stupid so Nick Minaj you've you've single-handedly killed music so yeah if you agree with me, high five, guys. Boom. Anyways, guys, leave it in the comment area below. Tell me what you think about the song and the lyrics themselves. Tell me what you think about music nowadays. What do you think is going on? Why is this happening? I'm assuming it's some kind of a, a publicity stunt, but I don't know. Well, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, just remember, entertainment equals me times comedy is great. Peace out and have yourselves a great day. Laters.